Hi everyone, my name is Alistair and I'm here today to show all of our students how they can practice their drum exercises at home. Now, one of the most common reasons we hear students don't practice at home is because they don't have a drum kit. Now, while it's awesome to have a drum kit and it's definitely something to work towards, it's not a reason why students can't practice what they're learning in their lessons at home. So I'm here today to show you three different ways of how to practice without a drum kit at home. Let's have a look at the first one. All right, so for all of these examples, I'm gonna be looking at the drum beat number three from lesson number five. Most of our students are up to this, although there are a few who are still on lessons two, three, and four, and that's okay. But when we get to lesson five, we see uh, what's written as drum music. Now the X's on this page here refer to the hi-hat on the drums, and we're going to use our dominant hand to play these hi-hats. Now for me, it's my right hand. For you, it may be your left hand. The next note down, this is the snare drum. And it's going to be played with our other hand. So not the dominant hand, but our other hand. The last note down here on the bottom, we're going to play that with our right foot. Regardless of what dominant side you are, whether you play with your right foot or your left foot, this note we're going to play with our right foot. Alright, so for this first way of practicing, I'm not going to use my drum kit, I'm not going to use drumsticks, I'm not going to have a drum pad. All I'm going to use is my hands on my legs, I'm going to be sitting at a seat, I'm going to have my feet flat on the floor. To do this exercise, I'm going to have my right hand hitting on my leg, I'm going to be stomping my right foot and then slapping my left hand when I get to the snare drum in the music. It should sound a little bit like this. So as you can see, I'm not using my drum kit for this. I'm not using a drum pad or drumsticks. I can't really practice my drum fills this way, but all of my beats, all of my warm-ups, and even the reading, I can practice just by doing this. What it's gonna do is it's gonna help me with my coordination and the dexterity that I need to play the drum. So if you're just beginning or you don't have any equipment at home, you can still practice like this. Let's check out the other way that we can practice if we've got uh, a pair of drumsticks at home. Alright, for this way of practicing, all you need is a pair of drumsticks, a chair, and maybe something to put on top of the chair just to protect it if it's a nice chair. You may not need to do that, but I'm going to put a cushion on top of this chair just to make sure I protect our nice dining room chair. Now, other than that, it's basically the same as our previous example. The good thing about this is that we can practice using our, our proper grip when we're holding the sticks, and we get used to using the weight of our sticks. Other than that, it's relatively similar, and it should sound like this. So as you can see, it's basically the same as the other example, only using these drumsticks. Let's check out the other way that we can practice without a drum kit at home. Great, so for our last way of practicing, before we get a drum kit, we're going to use what's called a drum practice pad. Now, the good thing about a drum practice pad is that when you hit it, it feels a lot more like when you hit a drum. So it's getting you that same sort of rebound experience before you get a drum kit. Other than that, the dexterity and the coordination that we've been practicing in the other ways is going to be the same. And so uh, I'm going to put mine on a chair. You could put yours on a coffee table or some of them come with stands as well. But it should sound and look like this. Great, so that was our three different ways of being able to practice at home without a drum kit. Free, not having anything, having a pair of drumsticks, and then having a practice band. Hopefully this has been helpful, and we want all of our students to be practicing at home. We're looking forward to seeing you in lessons soon.